Hello lambs out there. I'm back again today and I'm going to be praying uh, Proverbs chapter 7 over all you wonderful lambs out there and over myself, all the children of God and all the persecuted lambs that are being persecuted through any type of modern day slavery program throughout this world by your persecutors. So I'm here today to pray for you wonderful souls out there, you wonderful lambs out there. And I hope things are going well for you as possibly can. And I thank you for all you wonderful lambs that take the time to listen to my podcast every day or as often as possible as you can. I appreciate your listening support and your listening ears. Thank you so much for listening to my podcast on a daily basis. I appreciate your viewer support. And I hope that you continue. So anyway, I'm going to be reading uh, Proverbs uh, chapter 7 from the King James Version Bible and also praying Proverbs chapter 7 over all you wonderful lambs and over myself as well. So now I'm going to start. Proverbs chapter 7, verse 1, my son, keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee. Father, I pray that you help myself and all your children and the persecuted lambs everywhere in this world to keep your words, Father God, and lay up your commandments, Father God, with us, Father God, with you, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Verse 2, keep my commandments and live in my law as the apple of thine eye. Father, I pray that you help myself and your children and all the persecuting lambs everywhere in the world to keep your commandments, Father God, and live, especially the commandments of your word. And Father God, I thank you that your law, Father God, as the apple of our eyes, that we will keep the law of your word, Father God, your law as the apple of our eyes, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Verse 3, bind them upon thy fingers and write them upon the table of thine heart. Father, I pray that you will help myself and your children and the persecuted lambs to bind your law, your word, your commandments upon our fingers and write them upon the table of our hearts, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Verse 4, say unto wisdom, thou art my sister and call understanding thy kinswoman. Father, I pray that you will help myself and all your children and the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world to say unto wisdom that wisdom is our sister and that we will call understanding our kinswoman. In Jesus Christ's name, verse 5, that they may keep thee from the strange woman, from the stranger which Flatter it with her words. Father God, I thank you, Father God, that your word, your wisdom, Father God, from your word, Father God, will keep myself and all your children and the persecuted lambs from the strange woman and the strange man and from the stranger which flattered with her words and the stranger that flattered with their words, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Verse 6. For at the window of my house, I looked through my casement, verse 7, and beheld among the simple ones, I discerned among the youths, a young man void of understanding. Verse 8, passing through the secret near her corner, I'm sorry, passing through the street near her corner, and he went the way to her house. Okay, verse 9. And in the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night, and behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot and subtle of heart. Verse 11. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. Verse 12. Verse 12. Now is she without, now in the streets, and lie in wait at every corner. Verse 13, So she caught him, and kissed him, and with an impotent face said unto him, 
Verse 14, I have peace offerings with me. This day have I paid my vows. Verse 15, Therefore came I forth to meet thee, diligently to seek thy face, and I have found thee. Verse 16, I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry, with carved works, with fine linen of Egypt. Verse 17, I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Verse 18, Come let us take our fill of love until the morning. Let us solace ourselves with loves. Let us solace ourselves with loves. Verse 19, For the good man is not at home. He is gone on a long journey. Verse 20, He had taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the day appointed. Verse 21. With her much fair speech, she caused him to yield. With the flattering of her lips, she forced him. Verse 22. He goeth after her straightway as an ox goeth to the slaughter, or as a fool to the correction of the stocks. 23. Verse 23, till a dart strike through his liver as a bird hasted to the snare and know it not that it is for his life. Verse 24, hearken unto me now, therefore, O ye children, and attend to the words of my mouth. Father, I pray that you will help myself and your children and the persecuted lambs. Father God, all over this world to hearken unto you, Father God, as your children, Father God, and attend to the words of your mouth, Father God. And verse 25, that you will, that you will help myself and your children and the persecuted lambs not to let our hearts decline to the ways of the strange man and the strange woman, nor go, go not astray in her paths. Father God, for you said in verse 25, let not thine heart decline to her ways, go not astray in her paths. So Father God, I pray that you will help myself and your children in the persecuted lambs, not to allow our hearts to decline to the ways, Father God, of a strange woman or a strange man or any harlots, Father God, fornicators or whatever, or perverts, Father God, but not to go astray in the paths of these strange men and women, Father God, in these whoremongers and harlots in Jesus Christ's name. Verse 26, For she hath cast down many wounded, yea, many strong men have been slain by her. So, Father God, many get slain and wounded, Father God, by the whoremongers and the harlots, Father, male and female. Father God, and many strong people, so I pray that you will help us not to be slain and cast down and wounded by the whoremongers and the fornicators, Father God, and the perverts. Father God, that you will protect myself and your children and the persecuted lambs from the strange men and the strange women, Father, and the harlots and the perverts and the whoremongers and fornicators, Father God, and adulterers. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God. Verse 27, the last verse, her house is is the way to hell. Her house is the way to hell, going down to the chambers of death. So, Father God, I pray that you will help myself and your children and the persecuted lambs not to go into houses of strange men and women, Father, whoremongers and fornicators and perverts, Father God, and adulterers in Jesus Christ's name, Father, male or female, that you'll protect us, your children and the persecuted lambs and myself as your child in Jesus Christ's name, because going into houses of these whoremongers, Father God, is the way of hell, and it goes down to the chambers of death, and it brings death in our lives, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. So, Father, I thank you for giving us wisdom, that we will yield to the wisdom of your word, to stay away from the strange men and strange women, Father God, the whoremongers and fornicators and stuff, Father God, adulterers and perverts and freakies, in Jesus Christ's name, Father God. Thank you for your word, Father God, 
and Proverbs chapter 7 verses 1 through 27 Father God in Jesus Christ name and I thank you that Proverbs chapter 7 verses 1 through 27 is done in my life is done in the lives of all your children everywhere in the world and all the lives of the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world Father God in Jesus Christ name thank you for Proverbs your word your wisdom and your knowledge and your understanding and discretion Father I pray that you will help myself and your children and the persecuted lambs Father God, to be walking in discretion and discernment and wisdom, Father God, and that you will sharpen the discernment that you have given us, Father God, your children and myself as your child and all the persecuted lambs and dealing with other people and dealing with our persecutors, Father God, and dealing with bullies that come against us and evil doors that rise up against us through these different types of modern day slavery programs and dealing with our oppressors that rise up against us through these different type of modern day slavery programs throughout this world, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Father God. I pray, Father God, that you will cover myself and all your children and the persecuted lambs with the blood of Jesus Christ from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet, Father God, that you will cover our spirit, souls, and bodies and our lives and our health, our minds, our memories, Father God, and our thought patterns on every conscious level, Father God, and our health with the blood of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ's name, that you will cover our finances, our loved ones and family members and pets, Father God, with the blood of Jesus Christ, our homes and cars and jobs and businesses, Father God, electronics, Father God, with the blood of Jesus Christ, our yards and garages with the blood of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ's name, Father God, and our bank accounts and all financial assets with the blood of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ's name and Heavenly Father, I also pray, Father God, that you will also um Release your angels, your guardian angels to protect myself and all your children, Father God, all over the world and the persecuted lambs, Father God, all over the world that are being persecuted through all types of modern day slavery programs by their oppressors and persecutors in Jesus Christ's name, Father God, from all evil danger and harm and from evil predators, from evil persecutors and from evil bullies and evil predators that come against us and from demons father god and from witches and warlocks too and satanists and masons in jesus christ's name father god and from all human evil agents of the devil father god in jesus christ's name and all evil entities and deities and from the devil in jesus christ's name and i ask father that you release the blood of jesus christ to deliver myself as your child and all your children and the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world father god from all evil danger and harm and from evil entities and deities father god in evil situations and witchcraft attacks in jesus christ's name curses hexes vexes jinxes and omens and that you will Release the blood of Jesus Christ to break all witchcraft, sorcery, divination, and all evil curses, hexes, and evil altars and covenants and incantations off of the lives of all your children and the persecuted lambs in my life, Father God, with the blood of Jesus Christ, with your power and your anointing, Father God, and by your spirit and with the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, and that you release the fires of the Holy Spirit to destroy all witchcraft off the lives of your children and the persecuted lambs in my life, Father God, down to the ashes, to the ground, to not with the fires of the Holy Spirit and by force and by fire in Jesus Christ's name and that you release confusion upon all witchcraft camps and houses that rise up against us Father God and curses, hexes, vexes, jinxes and omens with the blood of Jesus Christ and by force and by fire by your holy fire Father by the fire of the Holy Spirit in Jesus Christ's name so Father I thank you that this prayer is done in the lives of all your children and the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world and in my life Father God according to Proverbs chapter 7 Father God in Jesus Christ's name Father God and I thank you and I praise you Father and I ask that you will cover this episode with the blood of Jesus Christ and this podcast with the blood of Jesus Christ I give it over to you this podcast and this episode over to you Father God and to your hands Heavenly Father in Jesus Christ's name Father I give you glory and honor to you thank you so much for answering this prayer thank you Father God for fighting the battles for all your children and the persecution of lambs in my life, Father God, for all the ones that are being afflicted and oppressed by their persecutors through different types of modern day slavery programs throughout this world, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, and I ask that you will cover and seal these 
this prayer episode, Father God, and my prayers with the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Father, for answering this prayer and that it's done in my life and the lives of all your children and persecuted lambs everywhere in the world. In Jesus Christ's name, amen, Father God. Hallelujah. <laughs>